The world is a big place and you conduct research everywhere. Keep your references and articles at your fingertips by downloading the EndNote app onto your iPad. Get started by locating the free EndNote app in the iPad App Store. After installation, launch the app and create a new free EndNote Basic account or log into your existing EndNote Online account by tapping Sign In. Let's close the Getting Started tour and start syncing down any existing library content from EndNote Online. A prompt will appear when syncing for the first time, asking to decide whether or not EndNote will automatically download file attachments from your EndNote Online library. By default, favorited references are set to have their file attachments automatically downloaded. If you've got no storage space or mobile data concerns, feel free to configure EndNote to download all attachments by toggling the My Library switch. If you're concerned about storage space on your iPad or want to minimize cellular data usage, you may wish to disable offline attachment access. Please note, disabling offline attachment access requires the removal of any already downloaded attachments. You'd still have the option to download library attachments on demand. Alternately, limit automatic downloads to a particular library group. Tap Done to save your settings. Excellent! It looks like EndNote has finished its initial sync of my EndNote online library. At any point, reconfigure your offline file attachment preferences and all other EndNote preferences from the profile screen. Select which set of references you'd like to display by tapping the Libraries and Groups link at the top of the app window. From this screen, choose to show references in a default or custom group, or your entire library. You can also tap Create New Group to make a new custom group that will sync to your EndNote Online and EndNote Desktop libraries. Here, I'm creating a new custom group named Miscellaneous, and I'll tap OK to save the group to my library. Please note the Favorites group is unique to EndNote for iPad and won't sync back to EndNote Online or EndNote Desktop. Tap the X to close the Libraries and Groups screen. Looking at all references again, tap on any entry shown here to reveal the reference details view. Tap the heart icon to mark a record as a favorite. If you had chosen not to automatically download PDF attachments, but found a reference with an attachment that you'd like to read or annotate, tap the download icon within the attachment section. If you wanted to edit this reference further, tap the actions icon in the top right of the app window to choose edit reference. From the Reference Editor, you can designate a reference type. I'll leave this reference marked as a journal article. You can alter Group Association. Here, I'm adding this reference to my Wetlands group. Add or remove an author. And you can modify the reference details. I'm adding the journal's ISSN. Tap Save once you're finished making changes. This arrow icon identifies references containing changes which need to be synced to EndNote Online. If you'd like to edit the Notes field quickly, tap the Actions icon again, and then tap Add Note. I'll leave everything as is and tap Save to close the Reference Editor. Perform a search for a specific reference or set of references by tapping into the Search field. From here, you can query text stored in EndNote's Title field, Author field, search for a journal title by selecting Publication, or perform an All field search using the Everything option. I'm conducting an Everything search for the term Coastal. Modify the designated sort order for your library references or search results by tapping the Sort icon and dragging the sorting criteria up or down the list. Customize the list of displayed references by tapping the Filter button and choosing to display only references with file attachments or all references. Tap the Actions button shown here in the Reference List view to copy references to another custom group while keeping existing group associations. Move references from one group to another. Email references to yourself or colleagues. Or download associated file attachments to your iPad. Perform these actions globally or on a reference by reference basis. I'm going to cancel our search, and I'd now like to add a new reference by hand. 
To manually add a new reference to your EndNote library, tap the Add Reference icon on the left side of the app window to bring up the new reference screen. Use the new reference screen to input as much information as you'd like for this new library entry. It's not a requirement that you populate every field and you'll always be able to come back and edit the reference further. Tap Save when you're ready and the app will take you back to your library. If you've got a file that you'd wish to link to a reference, tap the plus icon within the attachment section to bring up the file attachment screen. Then tap the plus icon in the top right corner of that window to choose an external storage resource. As an example, I'll tap Add from Dropbox, which launches my Dropbox app, and I'll have to confirm EndNote's access by tapping Allow. Back in EndNote, I now see the contents of my Dropbox folder, and I'll choose this PDF article. You can link up to 45 files per EndNote library record, and most of the file types are available to attach right from your iPad. Tap Reference Editor to leave the file attachment screen and save your changes. Be sure to tap the sync icon periodically and your changes will be sent between EndNote Online and EndNote for iPad. If you've got access to EndNote Desktop, your changes will appear there as well. I want to edit this new PDF attachment and I'll start by tapping its thumbnail. Add annotations to PDF attachments by tapping the Edit icon. Here you'll find shape, drawing, and text tools for which the size, color, and opacity are customizable. Tap and hold to select text to highlight, underline, or strike out. Read highlighted text aloud. Equilibria in the tangle. The speak rate control icon dictates the speed of the text-to-speech voice. You've also got the option to include searchable sticky notes to PDF articles. I'm adding a sticky note annotation that will sync back to EndNote Online and EndNote Desktop. Tap X to close out of the PDF preview. Quickly move references into groups by tapping and holding a library entry, and then dragging it to the Move Here label. Pause over Move Here to display your library's group structure, where you can drop the reference in any group you'd like, except for My Library and Favorites. It is possible to collect new references using the default Safari web browser. However, EndNote for iPad includes a built-in browser to help automatically capture new references from websites that support direct exporting to EndNote. You can navigate directly to any web page by typing in its address. You can also perform a quick search of several popular sites that support direct export. For example, let's conduct a quick search of PubMed for the term REM sleep by clearing the address field and inputting the search term. We'll automatically initiate the search by then tapping PubMed as the destination for my search. From the search results page, mark specific references that you'd like to direct export or leave all results unmarked and request a range of up to 200 references at a time to export. Let's take the first 20 search results and we'll proceed with the direct export by tapping the Send To link. From the expanded Send To window, tap Citation Manager. And since this screen is already configured to send the first 20 references, we'll tap Create File to trigger the export. After direct exporting references, EndNote will show an Import References screen to confirm which references are set to come into your library. Swipe to preview each of the exported references, or tap Cancel if incorrect references were selected. Otherwise, choose which library group you'd like to add these new entries to and tap Save to finalize the process. The in-app browser can also be used to download file attachments to link to your references. Let's tap Address, clear the text here to input a new search parameter, and then tap the Google Scholar shortcut as our search destination. Upon performing a Google Scholar search, tap on a found PDF to be shown a list of options for working with this file. Let's download the file to EndNote by tapping Download File. I'm finished discovering references for the moment, and I can close the in-app browser by tapping the X in the top right of the screen. Because I downloaded a file, EndNote brought me to the Downloads list. Delete unwanted entries from the Downloads list by tapping Edit, and then tapping the Delete icon next to a list entry or by swiping left. 
Tap the share icon next to any listing on downloads to share the file outside of EndNote. I can also tap on a PDF thumbnail to read a downloaded article. Tapping the share icon on the PDF screen, I can choose to open the PDF within a third party app. I can print the PDF via AirPrint, or I can email the PDF to myself or a colleague. Add annotations to downloaded PDF attachments by highlighting text. And I'll tap X to close the PDF preview. Just like items from the downloads list, references from your EndNote library are also shareable outside of EndNote. Tapping the share icon will bring up options to share a formatted reference via apps like Messages or Mail, and more. You can also save reference information to a text file to upload to iCloud, or copy the reference to paste into the app of your choice. Plugins like EndNote's Cite While You Write tools are not supported by Word for iPad, but you can still create citation placeholders using EndNote for iPad. Tap Actions in the top right of the app screen to select Copy Temporary Citation, and then bring up a Word document to paste in as a temporary in-text citation. Temporary citations will serve as placeholders. You can use a compatible version of Microsoft Word on Windows or Mac OS to format your bibliography using Cite While You Write for EndNote Desktop or EndNote Online. Whether you're an EndNote Basic user or enjoying the additional power of EndNote Desktop, EndNote for iPad is an excellent companion app that allows you to work with your references whenever you want and wherever you want. Find and download EndNote from the App Store to get started.